Welcome back to another GTA video. So today I'm going to be talking about the Kaye Perico heist and how to make the most money in a solo run and the quickest. Now I know there's some people saying you can get three to four million dollars solo in this heist and that's just not going to be possible. You cannot carry that much stuff or those secondary items. You're not going to be able to get up to four million dollars or whatever the max is unless you have friends and you can literally fit everything in those bags and take it. So I'm just gonna be going over some tips and how to do this the quickest way. So tip one, when you are doing these heist prep setups, do not worry about doing all those tedious ones and finishing all of them. They can be a waste of time. If you're planning on going in sneaky, you do not need to go do those extra missions to destroy the the armor or the extra weapons to make the guys easier to kill. If you plan on not getting detected, then there's no reason for you to go and do those extra missions. Also, everyone knows that you can drive the submarine, but I'm not sure if everyone knows about the ability to fast travel. It's kind of like the yacht. So when you get in the steering wheel, you can drive and you can fast travel, only costing $2,000 if you've already done the heist. And if you haven't completed the main heist with the Madrazo files yet, it would be around 10,000, I believe. And you can fast travel to the other side of the map. So if you look and see where your heist prep thing is, you can just get in, fast travel, and that will save you time. Anything that can save you time so you can get this done and get these heist setups done quickly can save you some money in GTA. Now, a second thing, I recommend buying the Sparrow. Now, I know it is an expensive vehicle, and yeah, sure, if you have like a bike or a buzzard, it can be better, but it's just convenient. It is in the moon bay of the submarine, and you never have to worry about getting out, calling in a second vehicle, driving to land to pick it up, or whatever that is, or driving even a boat all the way around to those missions. So if you can't afford the Sparrow, and it's not too much for you, I would recommend buying that so you can just easily head out and grab it and fly straight to the mission. Now another thing you can do but you don't have to do is while you're flying over to go get your heist prep things, you can um, return your submarine back to storage or wherever it goes and then you can call it back in after you've grabbed what you need for the heist prep. I mean if you do this you can save yourself some minutes because the submarine will spawn closer to you and it can save you more time which can you know get you started to your next doing the heist again if you're trying to grind out this heist to make some money i mean it's not necessary but it can save you a couple of minutes now also the second tip i want to talk about is the amounts and the items so right now there is currently five items that you can get and that is uh, there's the tequila which is nine hundred thousand dollars there's the ruby necklace which is a million dollars there's the breaded bonds, which is 1.1 million, the pink diamond, 1.3 million, the madrazo files, which is the main thing, that is 1.1 million, and then the sixth item that we have seen in the trailer and seen in those cool images is the panther statue. Now that will be going for 1.9 million, but it is not in the game currently. So if you do get that item, they, that item will be in a limited time. It will be like the diamonds in the casino heist, where you know for this week it's a chance that they will spawn and that you can get it and then this week it's not going to even be in the game and they do that so that you can't get so much money so quickly if you if you get a item like the tequila the worst one for nine hundred thousand dollars and you want to take your chance you can call up pavel right after you do the scope out mission and just cancel it and if i mean and take your chances on doing it now if you get something that's worth a mil like one of those other items like and you try to reach the pink diamond which is the highest valuable item in the game at the moment uh it's not really worth it now if you want you can do it for the tequila or you can just finish the heist real quickly but before you do any of those prep setups if you don't want to just get nine hundred thousand, uh you can cancel it and restart it which will cost you twenty five thousand dollars but if you do get the pink diamond it will be way worth it so another tip is that you can activate hard mode now the only way to activate hard mode it's a lot different from other heist is right after you finish it hard mode will be activated so right after you finish the heist the next time you do it hard mode will be activated for a short time so you're going to want to start up the heist again right after you finish it and then hard mode will be active and you will get i think a 10 percent increase on your money 
It also is not very different if you have it in hard mode. I think there's an extra fingerprint scanner and other else than that, it's not too much more difficult and you get an extra bit of cash. Now, another tip to make $50,000 at the end is to complete the Elite Challenge. Now, most of the Elite Challenges for the heists in the past were actually quite difficult, but this one is a lot easier, especially if you're running solo. So there's three things you have to reach. You have to finish in under 15 minutes, fill up your loot bag completely, and then don't fail any of the hacks. And if you do all that, then you will get the Elite Challenge and get an extra $50,000 added to your total at the end of the heist. One quick thing before we get into the next tip. When you get up into El Rubio's office, there are two things you need to look for. One, over on the side of the wall, there's a wall safe. That can give you anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 in cash. It's just a little extra bonus, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know about that. And two, on your map when you're traveling around in free mode in Los Santos, you will find little blue dots. Those are extra missions that have to do with the new heist. I recommend going to every single one because one of them you go to, I do not have footage of this because I did this a while ago, not even knowing. You will search a sleeping bodyguard from El Rubio's private island and you will find a key. When you get that key, that key actually unlocks a drawer in El Rubio's office and that's how you get the new fully golden pistol. So as you're seeing right now, if you get that key and you do those little extra missions in Los Santos, it can help you so you can uh, find Easter eggs on the island. So stay tuned for more of those and yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. Into the next tip. Now another tip I want to talk about are the secondary items. So secondary items, you have gold, cocaine, money, paintings, and weed. So in that order, that is their value, gold coming in at the most, but you can only get it if you have a friend. Uh, gold will not spawn if you're not playing with someone else and you won't be able to get it. Now second, if you're going for solo, cocaine will be the most valuable. After that, you got cash and paintings. They're around the same. They just take up different amount of space in the bag, but they amount to around the same amount. And then weed is at the very bottom. Now what I recommend doing when you come to do this scope out mission is not really worrying about all those secondary targets. If you're going to be in a stealth mode and you're by yourself, your loot bag already can't hold that much. So I would just go to the communication tower, hack into that, check those cameras on the inside, get your main target, and then parachute over to those main docks and scope out those if that's where you're going to be leaving. Now when I did the heist, I entered through the drainage tunnel. I think that's the best way to get in there and the quietest way, in my opinion. And then just exit really anywhere, but exit through the main dock is another great way so you can grab those secondary items before you leave. Anyway, so that's all the tips I got. It was a quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to subscribe and leave a like. That means a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.